Hello and welcome back to our online sessions tutorial series. In the last episode we began work on being able to kick players from games that are currently in progress. The last one we had the UI set up and this time we're going to hook up those buttons to actually kick the player from the game and refresh our player list. So let's jump straight in and get started with this. So we're going to go to our player list slot that we made last time and this thing has the button to kick the player. So to actually remove the player, we actually made the function along uh, uh, in another episode. So we can use the same one here. So I'm going to click on the kick player button and add a click to event. And we're going to drag out our controller reference. And I'm going to cast to the custom controller we're using for our game. And this one has that leave game function we made last time. So drag from there to leave session in progress. And that means it's only going to call it on the on the client, not the server, uh, because the client it has access to this bit. Um, so that will work there. Uh, but then we need to tell it to update the player list. So you can hit compile there and save that. And from there, then we're going to tell it to add another event dispatcher. And we'll call this one uh, player removed. And that we're going to have uh, it dragged out and do call, plug that in. Okay, so to go back up to a player list widget, and at the end of the for each loop that we've got currently, this bind event for player selected, we'll drag out from that again, do bind event uh, for player removed. So. And we'll drag that up here, that custom event, and we'll call this one um, refresh playlist. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the playlist scroll box and we're going to clear it from all of its children. And then we're going to basically do this all again. So um, what we're going to do here is just get this out from the third person game mode, add a custom event here, but refresh. And back up here, call that refresh. So um, let's see how this behaves in game. Okay, so here we are going into the game now. And back to the server view. Hit tab for the player name and kick them from the game. And you can see they've been removed from the game. Now it hasn't updated this. Um, so if I go back out of here, um, we need to tell it to also remove it from where we're building that list from. So if you go back to the playlist widget, you can see we're building this from the game modes player list. And this is a list of all the different player controller objects. So when they uh, are getting called on our player list slot here, I'm going to get the game mode and probably boot this before you call the player removed. To get game mode, we're going to cast to our cast to our third person game mode. And from there, uh, we want to get the playlist and we want to remove item. Let's remove one thing from that playlist. Plug that in there. And the thing we're removing is the controller that we've got here attached to this widget. Okay, and then we'll do I removed call cool. file and save that and let's see what this looks like so we now need to stop our clients able to also kick players from the game we don't want them to have that authority only the server to have that so for that we need to go to the player list slot and what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate the kick player button and hide it so that they can't click on it or do anything here. Now I'm not gonna hide the whole options because we could put options in there for clients as well, like muting, for example, or inviting and so forth. Um, 
So we'll keep it there, but we'll just hide the kick button. So on the uh, pre-construct in our player list slot, we're going to get the owning player. So this is whoever owns this widget, in other words, the client or server in this case. And we'll see if they have authority. So only the server has this authority here. So we'll put this into a branch. And if it's true and we do have authority, we want the kick play button to be visible. So get kick play button and set visibility to visible. And then if it's false, we're going to set the kick play button to uh, hidden. Compile and save. So next we're going to make it so that the clients can't show the player list screen because we don't want them to have the ability to kick the player. So on their side, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the controller object. Uh, in here and when we are building the list here on tab we're going to just put in a switch has authority and leave it as plugged in with authority so only the server would be the one that can do it compile and save there and we can test this out play and we can go to host match brain match And there we are. Start match. And when it starts up, the I'm currently controlling the client here. If I were to push tab, nothing happens. But if I go into the one here, we can players. Okay. So uh, that all works just fine there. Um, the last thing I want to do here is just signify that they've been kicked, like we did in when we were kicking them from lobby. So if I go back to the controller and look up the lobby controller as well, so here we're using the kicked options here to determine whether or not we've been kicked. So I'm going to use the same terminology there. So kicked on the custom player controller. When we do leave session, uh, which is up here, we'll put that in the options there, kicked. So now they'll get a message box come up at the end when they get moved saying they've been kicked from the game. So let's play that. Okay. So now here, if I pick the player from the game, and I'll get their message saying you've been removed from the lobby or from the game by the host. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go over how to pass through different information about the player character into the game itself. So we're going to let the player be able to choose their own name and also choose their own class before they go into the game. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch the next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady. You can watch that episode plus many more from just $1 a month. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.